now we're going to do the Night of the Living Robots exploration and trickiness. My ship sails in the morning if you don't hear from me in a month. Send dinner. Okay. <laughs> let's just <laughs> let's just let's try that one as well. I think that sounds amusing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, huh. Oh well, 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 well. Let's see here. Night of the Living Dead. We have these flaming torches, a la snowflake, if you will. Huh, now I can't get up here, can I? Oh, I have the W. jump, I see, I see. After playing the Zero in a Million project there, I'm so used to not having the W jump on base here, so. But yeah, this series are uh, heavily textured levels, as you can see there in the backgrounds. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, Kiranga uses both uh, the, you know, tools developed by Snowflakes there, you know, the in-game editor, which is very nice for using when, you know, you want to uh, screw around with the tiles. So, yeah. Um, but he also, you know, text edits, you know, shit like this, you know, <laughs> so that now... There is an enemy hidden basically there in the torch, but he's just invisible, so yeah, he's just sitting there dropping flames, and yeah, it's a really cool effect, uh, basically. That was a very easy checkpoint. This uh, stage might be more scenic than, you know, intended to challenge the player, is my guess. Whoa, this is really... Ooh. Oh, these are greys, now I see. <laughs> I don't want religion in my game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, but he can see them perfectly fine, of course, you know, it's all just, it's all just a, a sham, it's all just a ruse, you know, with the crows, they just sit on the background there. Oh, and look here, we have an altar. Yeah? Uh, pretty cool, this looks like a church here, actually. Yeah, I'm just looking at the scenery, so I get shot by these guys here. Yeah, this looks really cool. It's a little bit unclear, you know, where you can stand, but still, um, I really like this. Can we? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, and this here, you know, are kind of like pillars. Yeah, looks really sweet. I've been working a lot with, you know, the text editor myself, and, you know, I'm... Whoa! <laughs> and, you know, I'm having a blast. Um... Having a blast doing effects like, you know, you know this here how uh, he puts, or how Kiranga puts uh, things in the background and you know, have things in the foreground, you know, it's a lot of fun uh, working around with that, I gotta say. Like, it's tons of fun. And, you know, see here like how the snake ties, you know, it looks like they wrap up around, you know, behind the shirt here, you know. You can make so many cool effects that you can't, you know, without the editor there, it's super. Super helpful. Ooh, and I have a burp coming. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I wonder, am I supposed to like... Yeah, I'm supposed to jump on these here. Nice. And another cross here. Yeah, a golden one. Ooh, and there's a ladder down there. Hold on a minute. Hold on just a minute. We are down in the burial site, I guess. And now we can go there to the right. But I want to go here. You can't tell me what to do. Ooh, and look, we have this kind of support beams in there. Huh. Yeah, this is a forlorn place here. And this is kind of like a me uh, bleh, Metroidvania style level. I'm already... Oi! <laughs> I'm already a bit confused as to where to go. Not confused in a bad way, though. And, whoa, I'm all the way back here. Okay, now we have to get the... Key. Yeah, we have to get a key again. All right, all right. Yeah, totally forgot about the light drive. I should exploit that a little bit as well if I need it. I need to re remember it. Whoa, whoa. I don't think I got something in the church, but I think I missed something over here. Yeah, look at this. Oh no. Yeah, I need a grapple beam for that. Okay. Yeah, I think the only thing in the church was the amp tank, and yeah, you fall through the roof here, so don't step on it. 
Yeah, this series is kind of like some mythological beast, I guess, you know, a hydra or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I never pointed this out. We have freaking spikes in the trees as well. <laughs> huh. Whoa! No! Don't kill me! You know, for being so many churches here, there sure is a lot of unholy business going on. <laughs> I gotta say. Yeah. They must have failed, you know, consecrating this here fine land, you know. <laughs> this here fine piece of land. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, I don't wanna go that way. I wanna go down. Down into the catacombs again, because, you know... It's perfectly safe down there. Nothing to worry about. Just a... Nice... Yeah, a, a nice catacomb, you know, to get lost in. That's... <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. <clears throat> and it's so damn hot outside. Dude, I'm burning up here. I'm burning up and I'm playing Mega Man Maker. Just wonderful. <laughs> Actually, I'm at, I am having a pretty good time. <laughs> but, you know. <clears throat> it is very hot. Really freaking hot. And... Oh yeah, I guess there's the health uh, spawner in the church there as well. That's pretty, you know, fitting, you know. You heal up in there. So that's kind of like a safe place, you know, that you can seek refuge in. And if I can avoid, like, dying on the way down to the catacombs, like, that would be very nice. Very, very nice. And yeah, I don't think we can. Okay, just barely were able to make that. And, oh my god. Oh my god. Let's... Just try it here. We have it for a reason. And yeah, the stage went... Ooh, the stage became pretty hard here all of a sudden. Oh, and look at this! We have a little cottage here. Or a stone house or something. Yeah, I'm gonna use this to... Penetrate his leaf shield. Ooh, and yeah, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this, you can actually, it's a background thing here, so yeah, you can walk right by it. I'm not sure, like, it's a bit hard, you know, to see what you can walk through or what you can't walk through, but that may also just be a, you know, a thing where we're not used to, to this yet, so yeah, you know, that might also be what's tripping me up a little bit, but that, that looks pretty sweet. Freaking... <laughs> cottage down there. I, I like it. I like it. Holy cow. Oy, oy, oy. And now we're on a boat. Uh, this looks even sweeter. Huh. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be any collision here. Okay. But I'm getting my ass kicked. Do we go somewhere here? And I almost died. That would have been bad. Oy, oy, oy. Where do we stand here? Oh my. You're not killing me. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'm gonna stand here and grind energy. I'll be back in a second. There we go. Finally. Full health. And yeah, not so much anymore, I guess. How do we get up there, though? Huh. Oh, do I use him? Maybe. Yeah. That has to be it, right? Wait. Yes, okay, I reach. Get out of here. Get out. Get the heck out of here. Of Mia. And now we can either go down into the catacombs again, or we can try and do this. Which is very dangerous now that I think about it. Because we haven't hit a checkpoint yet. Yeah, I probably just want to work myself back to a checkpoint. So that I can be safe again. I really don't want to die right now. Oh, we can't get back out of here! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! That is very bad. I gotta do this on my first attempt. But I have confidence I can do it. Let's see. Okay. Oof. Oof. Yeah. So you have to know that you can use the double jump there. I actually kind of forgot about it at first, but yeah, I just tried it out. 
and I'm about to die. I might want to use my E tank here. Or grind for some health, which I might do here because we have a very nice spot. Yeah, you know what? I'll grind for some health again. <laughs> See you guys in a sec. Alright, I guess this will have to do. I got a one big health. One big health code. And. Now the question is where do we go? Not here. That's for damn sure. The most important thing right now is that I don't die. <sighs> because I had to do so much over, like, just think of all the health grinding <laughs> I had to do. That would be. Yeah, I would not want to waste this effort here. I really gotta make this count. Oi, 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 oi. Checkpoint. <laughs> checkpoint plus. Thank you. Yeah, I, I kind of had a f uh, feeling there that one would have to pop up any time now. You know. Ooh. And a Pharaoh Man Arena here. Alright. Okay, he's super weak to that. Let's just fight him with these Shadow Blades here. This is a pretty sweet arena, I gotta say. There's some more pillars here in the background. <laughs> and yeah, I did not want to fall down there. Right? It just kind of happened. Hm, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I was too afraid of the fireball guys then. Nice. Now then, let's just proceed. We got Night Crusher. I remember we had to use it at some point, but I don't recall exactly where. Hmm. Oh! We've been here before, haven't we? This feels reminiscent. Hmm. Yeah, I love, like, having... Like, so this series of... Uh, bleh, I think you can only do in the editor, like, having... Two of the same slabs, you know, on top of each other like this. It looks so much nicer. You can never do this in the editor. Like, yeah. Or in the regular, you know, Mega Man Maker editor. It's so very limited. Uh, in comparison to Snowflake's uh, editor. This place is dangerous. At least it's very easy to get health here, you know. At least there is that. Okay, but now we can actually do this here. Nice. And nice. And. Holy crap. Skullman's arena is insane. Oh, I can't hurt him always like that. <laughs> I guess this here is a fallen. Uh, <laughs> a fallen devoted Christian. <laughs> Uh, hmm. A Pope, if you will. That's the. Yeah, that's what. That's the word I was originally looking for there. <laughs> Actually, Bash is kind of nice having, you know, when you're fighting against Kalman because he's so darn mobile. Like, even if you're using his regular Buster, he's probably one of the better characters to use against this boss. But yeah, now I'm just fading here. Let's just try and see if we can find his weakness here. So you have to wipe. Ooh, nice. Let's see, where do we go? Do we just... Yeah, we just continue on here. Alright, and I would have loved to have all that health there. Yeah. I'm so close to dead that it's not even funny. And if I reset from checkpoint, um, yeah. We have to do the Pope boss over again. Pope man. What? We don't want to fight Pope man over again. And... Huh. Okay, so he guarded the flame sword. <laughs> well, the holy man guarded the sword. I gotcha. <laughs> now, this has been a pretty interesting stage, I gotta say. Oh, and you know what? Don't forget about the church. <laughs> the church elf. 
There you go. Very nice, very nice. And wow, he bamboozled me. Don't do that, dude. There you go. Not really just gonna have to respawn him here, but uh, that's fine. Ace. Okay, now then, where exactly are we going here? I might need to go down into the cellar again, or the catacombs, because we had those... We had those things there that we can uh, break now, but before we do that, we might want to hit the checkpoint over here. Yeah. Now we go... Whoops. Now we go back to the catacombs. Ah. Oh yeah. There we are. Yeah, so kind of like a... I want it. Kind of like a mini metroidvania this year. Or not a mini metroidvania. <laughs> it pretty much is a metroidvania. <laughs> Actually, you know, get weapons, unlock new stuff. Yeah. Whoa. The explosive crates were, yeah, right about here. So here. Whoa. Oh no! <laughs> I missed the checkpoint. Gosh darn it. Well, we do have. Yeah, we have two tanks. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Mm-hmm. And... Nice. Nice. This is a really sick boss room, though, like... Really freaking sick. Yeah. Very, very nicely made. Yeah, I think this was his optional weakness, so let's just... Speed this up. Yeah, I, I mean, I have always been doing, you know, the hardest, you know, way of killing a boss, you know, one damage at a time, but yeah. I have to admit, it's kind of nice, you know, to try and find your weakness and just kill them quickly. It is actually pretty nice. I There still probably will be times, you know, when I'll just be doing, you know, uh, their non-weakness weapons, but I think I'll start and let up a little bit on that rule and, you know, try and... You know, use weaknesses a bit more. Yeah, because I'm kind of enjoying it. So it was 19 minutes, you know. Yeah, pretty pretty darn cool stage. I would also like to check out the freaking... My ship sails in the morning. If you don't hear from me in a month, send dinner stage. Yeah, I really want to try this one as well. <laughs> so yeah, um, Night of the Living Robots there. Really cool stage. Um, uh, fun exploration. So... Uh, with some cool um, visuals there, like some areas looks really cool, but at the same time it does look a little bit messy. I am not trying to sound mean, but you know it was a little bit messy at some times. You know it's hard to see where you could stand and you know things like that. And once again, that might just be that we're not used to this kind of things yet. Um, but yeah, either way, you know I loved all the you know background sceneries and you know the houses and yeah the crosses and all that. It, it was a very unique level and it was a very fun. Very fun to play, so yeah, <laughs> really cool stuff to hear in here. So yeah, let's see here. In the next episode, we will be going, you know, we will continue the Kiranger Balanza here and, you know, just get into this negative one stage. <laughs> the negative one stage, yeah. Send dinner, yeah, we'll see if I can send dinner. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next one. Bye. My ship sails in the morning sun. <laughs> If you don't hear from me in a month, send craft dinner. Yes, I'll send some dinner. I'll send bass with a plate of flame sword. Let's go. So yeah, I, I already did this, as you can plainly see. Um, and we don't want to stand there, that's a bad spot. Um, yeah, but I did not record my voice, so yeah, I had to do it. <laughs> And I died! What the heck? But yeah, I'll probably just um, tag this video on, you know, the Night of the Living Dead there, because, yeah, it's a very short stage. This is actually over once you have killed Iceman, and no, you can actually not 
hurt him with the grapple beam here. I I already tried. And see this here. This here happened on my first picture. I actually died exactly like this here on the first one. And then I killed him on the third attempt. I feel, I feel, I feel like, think like, yeah. But I'm doing just as bad now, if not worse, actually, if you can't believe it. Oh my, are you serious, dude? Are you freaking serious? Dang it! Arr, come on! Let's go! Damn it! <laughs> Focus! Nice! Nice! Okay, finally. Just had to shut up for a bit there. <laughs> but yeah, like, look at this. Like, really cool boat, I gotta say. Like, insanely cool boat. Or maybe I'll just keep this video, you know, as a little mini upload, you know, on the side of the other one, just so that it's easier to spot it. But yeah, like, very cool little boss screen there with some nice visuals. <laughs> yeah. Very cool stuff, Kiranger. I'll, <laughs> I hope you'll be using the editor for more cool stages like, you know, this in the future and the Night of the Living Dead. So, yeah. Just leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.